Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. We've got a washing machine going on in the background, so you'll hear that throughout this video. Bear with it. All I'm gonna do today is take this machine apart. I'm gonna get the motor out of it, that's all I want. And you might come along and I'll ponder how it works as I go. It's a Vax. Model number. C88-VC-P-A, 2000 watt, which is quite high for a vacuum cleaner. And it's an interesting one, it's bagless, but it's not got a cylinder, the way modern ones, not modern, this is modern, but the way more recent ones do. This one has got this kind of double cyclone, let's open this carefully, I don't really want this bit, so just open that. It's got a filter kind of thing in here, and it's got a filter over here as well. And then it fills up with dust, and I've emptied the dust out, but that's that's all that is. Now this one I think has been left out in the weather, so let's see if we can get into it. Yeah, screws are a bit rusty. I can see two down here. They're a bit rusty. So I'll just get the rest of them out. I don't know if I plugged it in and tried it. Let's give it a go. Don't need the motor if it doesn't work. I think I have. Oh, okay. It's not working. Well, let's keep going. Might be a mystery fault we can have a look at while we're, while we're doing it. My yeah, strange is not working. Could be the fuse. Could be... Cut cable somewhere. Sometimes the cables get damaged. screws around the front that I've gotten out. I don't know what these ones here do, but we can get them out. They're completely rusted, but it might help. Looks to be one in here as well. So really, I'm just looking for useful parts here. I thought the motor might work, and if it's a 2000 watt vacuum cleaner motor, it could be useful in the workshop for upgrading a Henry if it's a similar shape or size or that. Does that come out? No, not yet. No, sometimes there's screws underneath, like this one. There's a few at the back I can see as well. So I'm holding this wheel on. There's a post motor filter on the back here, we'll have a look. We might have to take the wheels off as well. The post motor filter, we'll just see what it is. Sometimes they're charcoal. Right, that's all the screws that I have seen. So this filter, oh it's gone already. I might have taken it out already. Okay, in there, no more. There's a screw up above here. This is the kind of stuff that always gets confusing. Now, how are you meant to? I don't know if that's meant to come out just like that. It doesn't really want to come out with this screwdriver. It's at a bit of an angle because of that grey plastic, so I'm not sure if it's meant to come out now or later, but it's also taking a smaller handle. Smaller head size, I mean. There it is. These wheels sometimes just snap off. Put a screwdriver in. No, not yet. Yeah, they do, they just snap off. I don't know if I need to take them off for this exercise, but... Gotta be pretty forceful. Wow, okay. Yeah, more screws. Everything's falling on the floor. 
one. Okay, there's only one there. Right. And under the handle. Okay, there we are. That's the top off. It's more screws. Jesus, just loads more screws. Four screws on the front. One, three, four there. Three on the back to hold all these extra auxiliary bits of plastic. There's some metal springs in. I need you those push buttons. Can you see that? Where are they? Yeah, okay. So it's more than likely this board is a dud. Let's get this cable out. Um, I don't really want any of this stuff. So I'll cut off that cable. Cut the plug off. Off. I won't touch the spring because that's a problem if I deal with that. Maybe maybe the spring will go pop. Take this screw out and see if that helps at all. These have little safety tabs so they don't fall off. But be bothered to deal with them. So let's pull them off. Right. Oh, there's the spring coiled up around my finger. Yep. Yep. Can pull that off. Let's get these off. I'm not sure if this will come apart really. There's the little copper tabs that ride on little brass rings in there. I can recycle that brass actually, but it's very little weight in it, it's not really worth my while clipping it. If I can just pop it off then I'll deal with that. It's heat fused on and so are these. screwed on in behind with even more screws. Yikes. I don't want to take off that plate across the front there, that, this plate, because the spring's liable to jump out. I think you could repurpose these springs for pull cords on little weed eaters and stuff like that if you wanted. If you're so inclined. Okay, there's that cord. So we get the most out of it. Clip it back here. This is just pointless time wasting now at this stage. Right. More plastics. Cable can be recycled. Now, this unit. It's a big heat sink there. Little switch there. Some kind of a little. Looks like it's a suction cutoff thing there. Nothing looks blown up on that board, but I've got a feeling this is just going to go straight into scrap. A couple of screws securing that board. Switch, and there'll be a few screws holding on this motor cover. down in there. Another one here. And another one here. It's gotta be getting close on 50 screws in this thing. It's stuck on. It appears that oh, there's one more screw right down in here. Now that unit's out, there's a bit of a noise dampening membrane or something there. I don't think it's a filter and a gasket. There, some little rubber shock absorbers. 
right, oh, screws on this, one more here. That's the face of it off, that's the motor. Oh, it's covered in black dust in there. It's well gone to the board, so it's got clips on here and here. What are you stuck on? There we go. So that's this motor. It looks smaller than a Henry. Henry's are the ones that I've been dealing with recently. 2416. That would make it four years old. It looks older than that to me. It's all covered in black. Probably carbon dust, maybe not. There's the board. That's the, it might be a Triac. T-R-O, yeah, it's probably a Triac. Let's see if I can see what it says there. It's BTB something, is it? BTA 16. Capacitor on it. Yeah, a big heat sink on that triac. And then, oh, it's black dust everywhere. And then just a load of plastic, little springs and whatnot. So there we are. Let's put power on this and see if it makes a cloud of black dust in my garage. It does spin freely, although that uh, maybe it's not worth it. I don't know if we can get a look in there. Yeah, there you go. Commutator ring. Looks absolutely shagged. Let's get some volts on it. All right, so I've got power here going to the motor through this plug, through the variac, which is at zero and can go up to 270 volts through the magic of transformers. Let's bring it up. See if it explodes and starts sparking 80, 160. I heard a spark. That's the full voltage there. I'm getting nothing from it. I think that motor is just dead. Just dead, let's plug it out. The cable says Dyson on it, don't know where that came from. It's out, it hasn't gotten hot. I'd say it's cooked, completely cooked. Right, there you go. That was a Vax, can't remember what number it was. If you're interested again, C88VCPA. Right, there you go. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.